card is Photo Fab. Welcome back to our channel. That was weird. Let's undo it. Welcome back to my. It's raining and freezing. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Ash Briggs. I have another live workout for you guys. I changed up my workouts and eating a little bit. I'm gonna make another video about that. Probably the next video after this one. I took the last four days off. So I'm super refreshed and ready to kick this workout. Ah, yeah. Kick it. Kick it. Keep telling yourself that, darling. Kick it. <laughs> About to head to the gym, film this workout for you guys. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I never thought I'd have 67 subscribers. Holy crap. I love all of you so much. <laughs> Can't even, can't even express it. You're amazing, each and every one of you. I know there are only like 15 of you watching my videos, but that is fine. Whatever floats your boat, you live your life. Do you, boo boo? You know, you do what's best for you. Do you, boo boo? Do you? If you like it, subscribe. Also, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Click that button below. It lets me know that you like these videos and it also helps support my channel so I can keep making videos like this for you guys. Because I'm here for you. Without further ado, let's get in this bomb ass workout. I don't say that. I started the workout with a modified sumo deadlift. I say modified because I'm doing it with a landmine. If you don't have a barbell landmine at your gym, then I don't know why I specified barbell landmine. <laughs> if you don't have a landmine at your gym, you can just put the barbell between two dumbbells up against a wall and that will anchor it. So for the sumo deadlift with the landmine, you want to set your heels up um, to be in alignment with the end of the bar where I'm holding it with my hands and you're going to try to keep your knees in the same spot the whole time and you want them to track in the direction of your toes so wherever your toes are going that's where your knees should be going and my toes are pointed out at about 45 degrees to target my gluteus maximus i am pushing my hips back as i go down so that my knees don't go over my toes and i'm pressing through my heels you should feel this in your butt and your hamstring you're gonna superset that with the sumo Romanian deadlift. So it's sumo because your legs are wide and your feet are turned out a bit. You're gonna feel this in your gluteus maximus, the out, outer lower part of your butt. You're again going to push your hips back. And the difference between this and the sumo deadlift are that my butt is just going back. It's not going in the deadlift, my butt lowers a lot more while my upper body stays more upright. However, for the Romanian deadlift, my upper body is going to lower a lot more because I'm hinging at the hips and pushing my butt back as far as I can while keeping it up in the air. Push through your heels, squeeze your butt. Don't forget to check the description box for more of an explanation and details about this workout. So after that first superset, I went into another superset, barbell step ups are the first exercise in that superset. You're going to press through your heel for this. Do not press through your toes or the forefront of your foot. You can press through the middle part where your arch is or your heel. The more you press through your heel, the more you'll feel it in your butt. Also, I'm trying to keep my knee in the same spot, so I don't want it to push forward as I'm stepping up and I don't want it to move as I'm stepping down. It is moving a little bit, but for the most part it's staying in about the same position. This allows me to put a lot more emphasis on my hamstrings and my glutes. If your knee does go over your toes more, you'll feel it a lot more in your quads. You also might feel it more in your knee if you have any knee issues. So the safer position is for your knee to stay above your ankle the whole time. You're going to hinge at the hip, push your butt back, and try to land softly when that foot hits the floor. Otherwise, that impact sends the shock through your whole body. You are going to superset the reverse lunge. I mean, the step up. I'm 
sorry, with the curtsy lunge sumo squat. So you're gonna start with your feet together and go into a curtsy lunge, which is where you place your knee right behind your front foot. And then it's easier to go back into the curtsy lunge if you do a sumo squat afterwards. So that's why I paired the two together. So sumo squat wide, push your hips back, keep your back straight and flat, and keep your core engaged. Same thing, try to keep your knee from going over your foot. Try to keep your knee over your ankle. The next superset is the last superset of the workout and kind of a burnout. We're gonna finish with an isolation exercise. I'm not sure if these are called bodyweight glute kickbacks, but that's what I'm calling them because I have no idea what they're called, <laughs> clearly. What you're gonna do, I like to get on my knees in front of the bench in order to line my pelvis up with the bench and then I bend over and rest my stomach on the bench, if that makes sense. And that helps me get into a good comfortable position. When I first started trying to do these, it hurt, like the bench was pressing into my torso so much that it felt like I couldn't breathe and I couldn't focus on squeezing my butt because it was so uncomfortable. So play around with the positioning. Once you do find a good position, you want to squeeze the crap out of your butt. Your knees are going to be wider than a hip width and you should only be feeling this in your butt. You should not feel it in your back at all. I also only have my legs kind of bent. I'm not focusing on keeping a bend in them because I'm focusing on my butt, not my hamstrings. Holy crap, it burned so good. I'm showing you right here where I felt it at. Boom. Then you're gonna go straight into reverse sliding lunges. For this super set, when you do the reverse sliding lunges, you're gonna go straight back and then immediately 45 degrees back. So it's two different lunges and that's one repetition. You're doing 10 of those. So it seems like a really long time. Kind of like you're doing two sets because we're doing two kinds of lunges. It's just hitting your butt from a different angle and putting it all into one set. I was trying to save time. So, if you want, you could just do reverse lunges. But if you want your butt to look fantastic, fantastic, <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Um, then to do the reverse lunge and the 45 to free one. Make sure you're pressing through the heel of that front leg. Don't let your knee move too much. You wanna keep it over your ankle and you really want to focus on pulling your body up with that leg that's on the floor. All right, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in a couple of days. Mm. <laughs>